Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Xavian is definitely having a good time. That slide perfect and it's just up his alley. Uh, that is for sure. We're going to see you uh, out there a little bit later this evening. Again, the, the newscast is going to be live with me, Adam and MG uh, coming up at nine o'clock and the weather could not be better. Yeah, it's hot for this time of the year, but it cools down nicely uh, and just in time for the fair. We've got clear skies. That's our live Centex roof system sky tracker right here in Woodway. 91 degrees. Our current temperature wind has been out of the east right around seven miles per hour. We've got 90 in Mahia. It is 91 degrees in Cameron as well as Temple. Sunshine and Queen 92 and 91 in College Station. Here's the newest drought monitor and are starting to see some more colors across our area. There's the key at the top dry to, to moderately dry across our area. It's been a little while since we've had a nice little soaker there to help us out here. Uh, the farther west you go, still in some uh, good shape uh, at this time, but we need to see some moisture here across our area. The uh, forecasted fire danger. This is brought to you by Texas A&M Forest Service. Generally speaking, we are in the moderate category. There is a part there in, uh, uh, you can see in McLennan County over toward Coriel, maybe the northern part of Bell County in a high category uh, region right now. So just kind of keep an, uh, an eye to the ground there, not throwing any cigarette butts or anything like that. You want to just keep everything uh, put away properly, but our fire danger is in the moderate category. Not much in the way of any moisture on top of us. You can kind of see the, the kind of that burnt orange, the drier air. That's why it's hard to buy any clowns around, but also the drier air cools off fast, and that's why it doesn't feel too bad, especially in the morning. As we check out what's left over of Hurricane Milton, uh, it's out in the Atlantic Ocean right now. It will be staying to the south of Bermuda uh, for the most part, and uh, once again, it's staying away from the United States. Back here, we are looking at clear skies at midnight. Temperatures back down into the 60s to lower 70s by early tomorrow morning. Again, pretty comfortable to start we're talking 50s and low 60s throughout the day, at least the morning hours, sunshine, sunshine continues by the afternoon, climbing into the low to mid 90s. This is at five o'clock on Friday. High school football looks great. It's going to be hot and you need to stay hydrated tomorrow night. These are the temperatures we would see basically back in August, especially uh, for the evening hours. So just slow it down. You know the drill here. We've got to talk about it because it's going to be like that not only tomorrow and on uh, Saturday, but also on Sunday. This is Sunday. Actually, this is Saturday morning. We're looking at a few clouds. Temperatures climbing into the mid 90s across our area. There will be some uh, upper 90s just off to our west. Tonight's forecast, though, mostly clear skies. And if you are headed down to the fair, we'd love to see you. It's going to be another nice night. 60 degrees, your low temperature, and then mostly sunny tomorrow, about 94 degrees, the high in our trend of those 90s continue. Here's the long range 10 day forecast 96 on Saturday, 98 on Sunday. There's the record 96. So we should break a record high temperature on Sunday and then we've got a fall front. Yay, a fall front that moves through our area, brings in some cooler and some drier air. Look at the high temperatures there on Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 70s to lower 80s. So that will be nice and nighttime lows dropping to in the low to mid 50s. By the end of the week, we're still talking pretty seasonal temperatures. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, a hot weekend, temperatures low to mid 90s. There's the front, so 94 out ahead of the front. The front moves through, we drop it into the 70s and low 80s. Nighttime lows will be in the 50s. But until then, Adam, it's going to be hot, especially on Sunday.